What up, gang? It's your boy Zai back with another banger. And before we start, I want to ask y'all a quick question. Did y'all know that seeds can actually breathe? Seeds breathe. And um, not exactly like humans do. They don't have a respiratory system or nothing, but they do breathe. And we're going to get more into how seeds breathe, and we'll also get more into some tips and tricks on germination, as well as some facts and some myths. Let's get right into it. Kitty. Like, comment, share, subscribe, yeah. Yeah, you know it. Turn up the leaf blower in the long Should have been a hippie, should have been a shot. Another thing, don't forget to join the Discord. Alright, so when we think in terms of seed germination, uh the three main factors that need to be in place. Y'all take a guess. What's those three? All right. If you said oxygen, moisture, and heat, then you were correct. That's exactly right. Uh, we need oxygen, moisture, and heat. And then some people might be like, well, oxygen, why would a seed need oxygen? Because seeds breathe. Um, and like I said in the introduction, not quite like you and I might breathe with a respiratory system, but they do breathe through a process called respiration. Sugars being converted into energy. And the oxygen helps the sugars convert into energy a little bit more efficiently. Yeah, we got a sale going on, another sale going on on the site right now. Zombie sale, use code zombie sale. It is a dead ops OG sale. We are preparing for a couple of the new strains coming in um, to the new season. So uh, we are uh, letting our OG and original strains, uh, dead ops line specifically, and as well as the uh, Valley of the Sun by Gold Bear Genetics. Um, they do have coupon codes. So make sure you visit the site. Use code zombie sale for 40% off. And um, if you need some of the best grow equipment in the land, make sure to visit acinfinity.com and use code Team Zaza for a discount at checkout. And the seed already stores a certain amount of en energy as an embryo, and it's really, really tiny, right? Uh, there's a certain amount of energy it has already packed with it. And once it gets to a certain stage or develops a little bit within inside the shell, it starts to rely on the outer side of the shell where um, we might be pulling nutrients from the soil uh, or, um, you know, however you may be germinating. One thing to keep in mind, if you are the type to germinate directly in soil, it's a good reason why you shouldn't pack your soil too tight because you want to leave uh, area for the seed to breathe and res uh, respiration to take place so always keep that in mind however you germinate make sure you have those three things in place heat moisture and oxygen and those three things are guarantee you uh, successful germination as long as you have good genetics let's make sure that we always store our seeds properly in the driest, you know, setting in um, medium regular temperature, whatever that is, like room temperature. You don't want to be too cold. Whenever you reach cold temperature, seeds will go dormant. Um, they will definitely go dormant. Um, it is in their biological clock to go dormant during the cold. Uh, most seeds, too, not just these seeds but uh, most seeds will go um, dormant and almost into hibernation during a specific um, temperature so uh, we want to uh, make sure that we are not at any extreme temperatures when storing our seeds no really cold temperatures and no really hot temperatures because we know heat is associated with moisture and those are already two out of three of the things we need to start germinating. You don't want your um, storage of seeds to start pop, pop, popping because it's it's too hot and moist in whatever your environment is. 
Um, I recommend using those silica packs if you can. You can get them on Amazon or wherever. Um, you know, they come in um, boxes of shoes and things like that to absorb moisture. Um, some sort of uh, moisture absorbing technology, you know, you can add to your seed storage. Uh, and make sure that you are storing in a dark, cool, normal temperature environment. Another important tip, if you are harvesting your seeds, seeds need to dry. Um, you cannot expect to harvest fresh seeds off of a plant and then just plant them or, or, or try and germinate them. It will not work. Seeds need to be completely dry. You need to give them a um, couple weeks drying time, a week or two, um, in order for them to be prepared for planting or germination. One major myth um, that you'll hear a lot in the community is white seeds don't pop. That is not true. Um, DevOps OG is a really light colored seed, so um, almost a gray color. So um, color of your seed doesn't matter. Healthy seeds germinate and unhealthy seeds do not. So um, seeds that are sto uh, improperly stored have issues germinating. But when you, in my experience, I breed for vigor. And in my experience, vigor is closely related to good germination rates. I've never had a germination issue. Um, and I don't say that to brag. I say that to say that bad practices in breeding have got us accustomed to weak genetics so it's normal to not have germination issues and that's normal so just use good practice and um, make sure to store properly and um, start with good strong foundation genetics you know that's always gonna be the key all right gang man i hope you learned something i hope that was helpful if it was y'all know how y'all help me back in return man just comment like and subscribe let me know what you want to see in the next video down in the comments and um make sure you support the team by just uh following us on instagram uh joining the discord joining the website and uh, make sure you set your notification bell so every time that I do drop a new video, you already know about it. I appreciate everybody. I love you guys. Until we see you again, I'm out of here. Get it. Bow.